May the 15th, Saturday. We had to work today, but we got a few hours. It's almost five. We got about three hours, two and a half. And we are fishing a new hole in this stream that we've never been to. And what it is, is two little creeks meet together just back here about 200 yards where them two tree lines merge. And then it comes in and meets this creek. And I looked at it on the satellite photos. It's a gigantic hole. And this farmer dumped rock all along his bank to keep it from eroding for about a two or 300 yards. It just rocks all along the bank. And this hole is gigantic and deep. Anywhere a creek comes in is always one of my favorite places to begin with. So I have a good feeling about it. And look how skinny the river is up there and then it just turns into a big bowl. So I think that we may have some good luck here. On the downside, there's so many mosquitoes, you just want to walk away, but uh, it is what it is. I think instead of going out there, I want to go down to starting right there is where the rocks are. You can fish right at the, right on the rocks or right over the water. Just like the other access that we always go to up here. Whoa, there's a fishing pole laying here. Oh my god, someone left their fishing pole. I'm going to leave it alone. Let's leave it there. They probably, I wouldn't do that to somebody. It's a loose speed stick with a rooster tail on it. Somebody just left it laying here. I guess they figure nobody would mess with it, but that's not very smart. Not very smart. Very little. Yeah. Nice long ear. Oh my. Nice female red long ear. What a beauty. Thick. About the size of my hand. Oh yeah. Man, what a red ear. Holy cow. Yeah. That's the biggest one I've ever caught out of this creek. Guys, I just got a personal best red ear. Not everywhere, but out of, a, out of this creek. I did not think they got that big, did you? Yeah. Hey, this ain't that bad of a place after all. You just got to use live bait. I mean, think about it. There's no other holes that have rocks. Except the one we fish up above the rest is all mud banks this is a lot of riprap for them to enjoy guys that's a nice red ear what a beauty actually that's a nice looking that might even be a hybrid mixed with a bluegill it sure don't look normal I think this could be a, yeah, this is a bluegill red ear. This is a bluegill red ear hybrid, guys. Not too often I get one of these. Pretty cool fish. Man, he's pretty decent. That's keepable. Man, bluegill red ear. Half bluegill, half red ear.
Yeah. Nice long ear, man. Look at that one. Yeah. Wilman just missed about a pound and a half bass on a red wiggler. It's a nice, pretty little long ear right there, guys. male bluegills <laughs> all right i got a male bluegill guys and it's a nice one too got them black dots on the side of it really cool looking nice looking bluegill My gosh, another tank of a bluegill. My goodness. Boy, you'd be good limb line bait, buddy. Whew. Another male. Not a bad one, about seven inch. Yeah, it's blinking. Nice little bluegill. A new right. spot number two in the same day only about a half a mile from where we just was so that means we get to explore two new places in one day so the first place wasn't bad I did get the nice red ear bluegill hybrid so that was a bonus and uh, we caught a lot of nice little bluegill and panfish. Uh, what this is is a culvert. It's a ditch with a gutter, gutter going through, and it's real swift. And it's just got a little tiny pothole. Yeah. Lock it when we're 20 feet away, like we're not going to hear somebody trying to get in it. We gotta stop and air this tire up as soon as we leave here. Anyway, before I was interrupted, this is a little ditch with a culvert going through about half a mile from where we just fished. One of the small ditches that enters the main creek. And it's just a little tiny hole, but I'm willing to bet there's probably fish on both sides of this too, by the way. There's fish on this side too. And I'm thinking it's going to be bullhead, bowfin, and probably some sunfish and whatnot. It's a really small ditch, but sometimes they will surprise you. Not very easy to get down. But I'll eventually get there. Boy, it's real hard to get down. It's a lot of green sunfish and bullheads, probably. Oh my. Yeah, hey. There's a little long ear. I'm getting a bite as soon as it hits the water every time. I don't think it's more than two foot deep, maybe two and a half. I'm getting a bite every single throw. Nice bluegill, whoa, whoa. Hey. Guys, we're just trying something new. This is a pretty cool little gutter. It looks like what happened here was the weight made it give out at one point. It has a big hill going down at the end. It's just a little tiny culvert. As you can see down there, it gets real thin. And I don't know where all this water's coming from because it hasn't really rained in about a week. It's 
That's a nice bluegill there, guys. For this little tiny hole, I ain't gonna complain. Whoa! What in the world? No way! A red ear way up here. No way! Oh my god! And I think it's a hybrid again, maybe. No, it's regular red ear. I wouldn't have thought way up this little creek, guys. Nice little red ear, female red ear way up this creek. My gosh, you just never know. Not bad size. Really, for here, I mean, it's hand sized. Ah, broke my line. Trying to get the hook out. Nice little red ear, guys. Dang it, I gotta tie a hook on. Shit. This is gonna be a bullhead. Oh my god, I got something really big. What the hell? Oh man. Good god. Now that is a, it's a black. Maybe a yellow. Now he's decent. Now I don't mind them. Now that's a bullhead, guys. My goodness. Gracious. Here, can you? Hold on, I'm gonna. All right, guys, black bullhead. I think it may be yellow. Not a bad one compared to the ones we've been getting. You got a really big belly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The flyers are getting hold on. 